the Greek god Zeus suspiciously, suspiciously looks like the Greek version of Indra. Knowing that our civilization is older than the Greeks, have they literally copied our devas and made them their gods? Good question. So who is Zeus? So Zeus is a Greek god. He is the god of thunder. Right? And he is a god who, according to Greek mythology, fought with a great sea monster and killed that sea monster and saved the world in the process. So he is the god of thunder and he is the killer of this great sea monster. Now in Indian, in the ancient Indian Vedic pantheon, we have the great god Indra who was the most powerful god. He was the god of thunder and he fought the great serpent Vritra. Vritra. And he destroyed Vritra and thereby he saved the world. Because Vritra had encircled the oceans and the world was no longer able to, uh, to, to access the water of the oceans. So this great serpent, this great dragon had to be slain. And Indra, this heroic, powerful thunder god and the hammer god, he fought this great dragon Vritra and destroyed him. Because of which he is known as Vritrahan, means the destroyer of Vritra. So that's a theme that you see throughout the Indo-European world. This great thunder god, who is also a hammer god, who destroys this great sea serpent, right? So Zeus is definitely the Greek version of Indra, no doubt about it. And Zeus also took on characteristics of an earlier, of an older Vedic god called Dios Pitta. Dios Pitta was essentially the father of all the Vedic gods. He was the the supreme deity in the old Vedic pantheon, Dios Pita. So Dios Pita became Zeus Pater in Greek. And he became Jupiter in Rome. That is how it goes. And Jupiter is again a thunder god who kills the great sea serpent. Do you see this, this pattern? Now the question is, did the Greeks steal this from the Indians? That is the question that Akash is asking, and I'm going to answer that right now. So let me share something on the screen. This here is the name of a bunch of Vedic tribes, Vedic clans rather. Okay, So there was this great battle during the Vedic times, a very famous battle, the battle of the ten, of the ten kings. And in this battle, the Bharata king Sudas, defeated a coalition of other Vedic clans. He defeated them and he expelled them from the Indian subcontinent. And they had to go into exile westwards, all of these Vedic clans. So these are some of the names of these Vedic clans. Uh, the Parth, Parshwa clan, who became the Persians, the uh, Sarmatians, the, the Brigu clan, who became the Phrygians, who eventually lived in, in Anatolia. And the Alina clan, who became the Hellenic peoples. So this Alina clan of Rigvedic Aryans, or the Rigvedic people, had to migrate westwards, go into exile. They never came back. And the Alinas came to be known as the Hellenic peoples eventually. The Hellenic peoples gave rise to a nation called Hellas which is the Greek version of Greece. We call it Greek in Greece in English. And in the Greek language, it co it's called Hellas. And they speak the Hellenic languages. And these are the descendants of the Alina clan of the Rig Vedic people. And therefore, to answer this question, they did not steal the, the, the Indian gods from us. It was their gods. These were their gods. They moved westwards and they continued their traditions. They did not give the, the, their gods up. They just gave the, the, the language eventually morphed into something different. And that's how all the Indo-European languages emerged out of one ancient primordial language. So it is the westward expansion or expulsion of these Rig Vedic clans that gave rise to all the different branches of the Indo-European peoples. And the Alinas became the Hellenic people. And that's why the, that's why Zeus is essentially the same as Indra. And the Romans, they absorbed this culture and the, the pantheon of gods from the Greeks. 
the Romans did not make any bones about the fact that they were taking culture from the Greeks. Right? The Rome, Romans did not have a great culture of their own. They were great conquerors. So they conquered Greece and absorbed their culture. So Zeus Pater became Jupiter in Rome. That's how it went. And there is another thunder god, another hammer god who destroyed a snake. He is the Viking god Thor. And there is again the same pattern. If you see Indra, he has two main weapons. One is the mace or the hammer and the other is the, is the thunderbolt, the Vajra. The, even the mace is called the Vajra. So Indra's weapons are the Vajra in, in physical form, which is the mace or the hammer and the Vajra in the form of a thunderbolt. And Zeus is exactly that. And Zeus also destroys, he, he does battle with the great Yormugandra, the Midgard serpent and kills the serpent and saves the world. So there is this pattern of, of Indra everywhere across India and all the way west to the Nordic countries. So to answer your question, to summarize, Zeus is a Greek god, but yes, he originates in, in India as Indra.